1857, a group of passengers boarded the SS Sonora in San Francisco. They were accompanied by their most prized possessions, and in many cases that was gold. Spoils from the gold rush of 1849 had attracted thousands to the West, and California had become the official 31st state, nicknamed, a little obviously, the Gold State. Its gold and silver quickly became imperative to the nation's economy. In order to deliver large gold shipments swiftly to the U.S. banking system, the vast network of the U.S. mail steamships were utilized to deliver mail, gold, and passengers from California to New York. This was pre-Panama Canal, so the first leg of the journey to the thinnest point in Panama took place on one ship, then a hop, skip, and a short train ride across the country waited the second ship, ready to continue on to New York. For the passengers who began their journey on the SS Sonora, their second voyage was set aboard the SS Central America. Greeted by the capable and brave Captain William Lewis Herndon upon arrival, no one would have suspected that this ship, in its fourth year of service, and having sailed the same route round trip 43 times, would deliver most of them to an early, watery grave. The sinking of the SS Central America was the worst ocean disaster in a time of peace in the United States' history. 425 passengers and crew died in the tragic accident, leaving only 153 survivors. The loss of not only the citizens, but the 9.1 tons of gold and silver that the ship carried was a devastating blow to the country. At the time, the technology needed to find and recover the ship was impossible. In 1977, an ocean engineer named Tommy Thompson took an interest in the mystery of the SS Central America. He began to collect data, reach out to experts for opinions, and received financial backing for an expedition by 1986. Using the money, Thompson developed the technology that would allow the SS Central America to be found. NEMO, a remotely operated vehicle built to withstand deep ocean pressure of up to 4,000 pounds per square inch, with the ability to carefully recover and preserve anything it could find among shipwrecks. A combination of NEMO, search theory, and Mark Sonar allowed Tommy Thompson and his team of scientists and researchers to find the SS Central America and to finally recover what the ocean had stolen over 100 years before. 7K is excited to announce a rare opportunity to own a piece of the history that is the SS Central America. Stay tuned to learn the whole story about the Ship of Gold and its recovery from the deep.